Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a jump scare in Roblox Studio. So I have a couple things set up to begin with, just to make the video go a little faster. Starting off for the workspace, I have a folder that I named jump scare with a part named camera. And there's nothing special about this, except I just change the color to a green and change down the transparency. And then I put our my jump scare subject to um, when our camera gets switched to this part, then we'll be able to see the jump scare. And then uh, we have the jump scare trigger, which is this part right here. And inside this, I just have a regular script that I named jump scare script. And so this is going to be the part where if the players touch it, then it will trigger your camera to move over to this part and then spectate the jump scare. And then in replicated storage, there's a remote event that I called jump scare event. And then in starter GUI, I made a local script and just called it jump scare script and then put a sound inside the jump scare script. And then once you have that all set up, we can go ahead with the first script. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do local jump scare event equals to game dot replicated storage dot jump scare event local debounce equals to false. And then we're gonna do script dot parent dot touched colon connect a function and we're gonna do hit. And then we're going to do if hit dot parent colon find first child quotation marks humanoid then if debounce equals equals false then debounce equals true and then we're gonna do local player equals game dot players colon get player from character hit dot parent then we can do go down and we can do jump scare event colon fire client and then we can do player we're gonna add in a wait for five seconds and then this uh five seconds is gonna be uh the time before the player can reactivate the jump scare and then we're gonna do debounce equals false and then if you don't want the jump scare to activate again then what you can do is you can do script colon destroy and it will uh, destroy this script all right now that we have that done we can go into our second script and we can do local current cam equals game dot workspace dot current camera and we can do local jump scare event equals game dot replicated storage dot jump scare event and then we can do local jump scare cam is equal to game dot workspace dot jump scare dot camera. And then we can do local dead guy. That's why I'm going to call mine because the jump scare is a dead NPC. And we're going to make that equal to game dot workspace dot jump scare dot dead guy which is the name of my model then we can go down and we can do jump scare event dot on client event colon connect a function and then we can do current cam dot camera type equals enum dot camera type dot scriptable and then we're going to do current cam dot c frame equals jump scare cam dot c frame then we can do script dot sound colon play and then for a sound my id is six seven five three four eight nine three four six but you can get whatever sound effect you want and then we're going to do a wait for two seconds and then this is the amount of time that they will be seeing the jump scare for and then we're going to do current cam dot camera type equals enum 
dot camera type dot custom and that should finish up our script so if we go ahead and play and we walk over to the trigger you can hear a screaming sound and it takes us to the jump scare so that is how you make a jump scare in roblox studio if this video did help you and you did like it please don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new the project file for this video will be in my discord server the link for the server is in the description thank you for watching and i will see you next time